Hello there, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this short video, I'll show you how to get started recording inside GarageBand. Okay, here we are with the splash screen. When you start up GarageBand on any Apple product, you'll get this. I'm going to record the voice, so I'll select the nice voice template. Click choose, and it'll bring up an array of different uh, areas you can record. Narration vocals, bright vocals, classic vocals, uh, even down to helium, monster, and robot. I'll show you how each of these work. First of all, drag in my microphone, which is over here, and you'll see that my microphone is peaking there. Uh, I can set the volume down if I want to record a little bit quieter, like that, or up, and then I might peak. If I go really loud, as you can see, uh, peaking red over here. So I'm just going to turn it down to a reasonable level, which is probably around the zero dB mark. Now notice, whichever track I select is the track that will start recording. See that this track is no longer monitoring and Bright Vocal now is monitoring. And you notice down here in the controls, there are different settings on each track. So if I go down to the monster vocal, you'll see all kinds of bits going on there, uh, probably to make me sound like a monster. But let's start with narration. Just click record and I'll start talking. Hello there. Yep, it's picking me up nicely. Perfect. Play it back might help if I move the playhead back. And I'll start talking. Hello there. Yep, it's picking me up nicely. Now you can actually hear there, there's a bit of compression, some reverb there on the voice. Uh, Apple have given their own preset to narration vocal. Let's listen to how that differs if I go to bright vocal and record into that track. This is an example of a bright vocal. Let's play that back. This is an example of a bright vocal. And then if we want to go really nuts, we could go down to the monster vocal and record into that track by selecting it, hitting the record button. And now I'm just a big, scary monster. Let's move the playhead back and play that audio back. Right vocal. So as you can see and hear, Apple gives you uh, many great tracks to play with if you go into that voice preset at the splash screen when you initially start GarageBand. But it's really easy to start recording. Just select the track and click record, and then you are away. You are recording inside GarageBand. It's also important to check that your audio interface is set up correctly and you're using the correct inputs and outputs. Uh, in order to do that, I'll exit out of this and show you this. Won't save that. Uh, when you get the voice, you can actually scroll down here to detail click that little arrow and choose your input and output to make sure that's all set up correctly uh, so you're not using your internal microphone and you are indeed using a microphone if you happen to have one plugged in. But that's the basics of getting started recording something into GarageBand.